isn't it the individual to kill every Jew and every Christian and every Hindu and every, every non-Muslim is Muhammad? Then some individual in Islam, somewhat. What do you mean Muhammad is an individual? You make it like this is what Islam is. You've got a rabbi here. Not only that, you've got an individual. I don't know if he's an atheist, but you know, Benjamin Netanyahu, the, 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 the murderer, the scum who has come out and quoted Malachites again. Mm -hmm. And what's he saying? Yeah, can, can you quote Malachite again? Scum back, Ali Dawa, dear, dear, to call me to show you the story of the Malachite in your stupid Quran. I mean, those donkeys, by the way, they do not know. Obviously, none of them knows what is in their book. Otherwise, the three of them, they will not mention it. The story they are talking about is in the Quran. <laughs> they are complaining about what is. And by the way, that story has nothing to do with those so-called Palestinian, because those aren't Palestinian, those are Arab. If you ask any of them, are you Palestinian? They will say yes. Are you an Arab? They say yes. How you can be Palestinian and Arab at the same time? Those are Arab. They are coming from the desert of Arabia. They have nothing to do with that land. Before the year 700, not a single, not actually not even 700, after, until Abdul Malik bin Marwan, not a single person in this land speak Arabic. The Caliphate Abdul Malik is the one who transformed the language of the local, which was either the Hebrew or the Aramaic. He forced everybody to speak Arabic. He did the same everywhere. In Egypt, in Morocco, in Tunis, wherever they controlled, everybody had to speak their language. So now, this is come back, he is exposing the rabbi for something written in his book. Let us go and talk about the Jews specifically. This is Allah in the Quran commanding the Jews to kill everyone he is a Palestinian. This is in their book. This is not the Torah. This is not the Bible. This is the yellow pages of Muhammad. If you remember, uh, last week, what was the name of the video, guys? Somebody can remind me. When this guy from England, he is a Muslim like them, I think he's from their team. He called me and he said, literally, the reason at that time they were allowed to kill the Palestinian because the Jews at that time, they were Muslims. When this Abdul, he called me, if you remember, and he wanted to change the topic and to talk about the Trinity. And then I showed him this verse in the Quran, and then he explained, he said, well, at that time, those Jews, they were Jewish Muslims. Therefore, they can kill the Palestinians. And this is Allah commanding Moses, according to the Quran. Here, by the way, Muhammad is a thief. He is stealing stories from the Bible, as usual. Otherwise, Allah have nothing to do with the God of the Christian or the Jews. But Muhammad is a fraud. He sit with the Jew, he copied the Jews. He, he heard about Alexander the Great, he made him a Muslim prophet. Alexander the Great, he became a Muslim. He hij the, Muslim the, the Islamic religion hijacked everything. The guy who saw himself in a dream going to Jerusalem, he would go to Jerusalem, is their city. And now this potato, he is complaining about what this rabbi is saying. Let us go and see what Muhammad said. You know what, why I want to say it to you, I will play it for you. This is their team. This is their Abdul. All right. Enter. The Yehud, who are a people who they themselves have a history of, pers of being persecuted, who they themselves have a history 
of being the oppressed, they are the ones who are doing the oppression. Who is the one who oppressed them? Isn't it your prophet Muhammad? He raped them, he killed them, he took their women, even they raped children. He's talking about the oppression now, the Jews. You know, the Jews themselves, they've been oppressed. But now they are oppressing people. But let us see what he was saying. Oppression and what a mighty oppression it is. These people whose ancestors were slaughtered by Pharaoh and his people. These people whose ancestors, their sons were killed. By the Pharaoh, remember. Not by his prophet. <laughs> he mentioned the Pharaoh. The Muslims, they have memory all the way to the Pharaoh, but they don't remember Muhammad killing all the Jews in, in Arabia. They have, they have a history even what the Pharaoh did with them, but they don't remember. Like what? Muhammad? When? <laughs> Their memory is so good to the point they went back to the Pharaoh, what the Pharaoh did to them. But he cannot remember what the Prophet of Islam did to them. The Prophet of Islam, even he dig their graves. Not only he slaughtered them, even he burned his tree, their trees. I mean, this is how much hate he have. You see, when somebody, they took over Gaza again, and they did already. And now they finish Hamas. Do you think the Israeli they will go and dig the grave of every one of Hamas members or every grave of a Muslim? This is what Muhammad he did. This is how filthy he is. He cut their trees. He dig their graves. Not only he killed them. He took the crops from the graves. This is what Muhammad did. But those Muslims, they remember what the Pharaoh did to the Jews. But they don't remember what Muhammad did to the Jews.